Praise the Lord, family. I've been ordered to feed us bread and meat and pray that this meal finds us in the correct position to receive it. Our food from a raven this week continues with part four of Come See Me. Please read for yourselves 1 Kings chapter 17. It's only 24 verses, so don't, don't, don't get out of control. <laughs> But it adds a great deal to our daily lives as children of God. I highly recommend that if you haven't already, go back and listen to the series to get the most out of your hearing. We closed on last week dealing with the word Zarephath, meaning refining, and touched Sidon, meaning fishery or vitality. Now, beginning in verse 17, we found that the woman's son had died and she begins to act like, uh, uh, like, like most of us act in, in, in the fact that she begins to complain. And Elijah, understanding her loss, uh, 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 jumps on the bandwagon with her, so to speak, and begins to complain to God and making reference to tragedy. Just like our lack of understanding to the plans of God, we, 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 uh, we begin to call our time on the wheel, our trials and tribulations, if you will, a curse, a tragedy instead of a blessing. I'm convinced that our whining and complaining goes unheard by God. But it's our sincerity, it's our uh, most utmost dependence on him that gets his attention and lends his ear. Why would I say such a thing? Verse 21 and, 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 and 22 uh, lets us know that once Elijah got over his pity party and began to exercise what's on the inside of him, then the Lord heard Elijah's voice and moved as he requested. Come See me. I'm telling us today to not despise our place of cutting. I'm telling us today to, to, to don't despise our place of refining. Because just like Elijah and this widow woman, our appreciation for what God has done in our making, in our process, will be so easily forgotten and overshadowed by the hurt of yesterday and the right now. <laughs> but glory be to God that if it happens that we go there, I bless God that just like Elijah, we won't stay there too long, but we'll stretch out ourselves and begin to call on the name of the Lord, begin to speak those things that be not as though they were, begin to declare the decree and experience God at the sound of our voice. Come see me. We know that the child lived in verse 24 tells us that uh, then the woman said to Elijah, now by this, I know that you are a man of God and that the word of the Lord in your mouth is the truth. Just like this woman, many of us have witnessed stuff. We've heard some things, but we still weren't convinced. Uh huh. But can we also get to a place and say, now I know what I see and that the word of the Lord in the mouth of my leaders is truth. For when we get to this point, that fish is as good as caught and will cause people to experience vitality. Come see me. Apostle Chauncey Craig at Discipling Ministries, where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. I love you and praying with you.